Hello everyone. Welcome to the Machine Learning for All Engineers Teach by Doing project. My name is Dr. Raj Dandekar and in this set of videos which all will be uploaded for free on YouTube I will be learning machine learning from scratch and uh, as I learn ML again I will document my journey and I will share all the resources with you guys so that you can follow me in this journey. First, let me explain a bit about myself and uh, why I started this project and then we can directly dive into the first uh, lecture. So again, my name is Dr. Raj Dandekar. I graduated from IIT Madras with a B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering in 2017 and then I completed my uh, PhD from MIT which is the number one university in the world in 2022 i received my phd in machine learning uh, and in 2018 actually i attended my first ml lecture at mit and it transformed my life completely the next four years i mastered machine learning concepts published ml research did machine learning internships and corporate jobs and finally i attained my uh, phd at mit in the field of machine learning in 2022, I came back to India with a mission to educate the millions of engineers who are planning to transition to machine learning and guide them on, the, on their journey. I basically want to help all the students who want to make their transition to machine learning. And I have been thinking of several ways to help students. What is the best way of doing this? How do I make sure that students start their journey? and do not get confused or demotivated or stuck. So I have started this new project which is called Teach by Doing. What I will be doing in these set of videos is that I will act as if I do not know anything about machine learning at all and I am a complete beginner. And I will start from scratch as if your journey would be if you are starting from scratch. That way you will relate to what I am showing in these videos. I'll be showing everything as if you are a complete beginner in ML and if you want to transition to ML. So every day, every morning, I'll post what I learned the previous day. I'll make a video like this. I'll make lecture notes. I'll uh, share reference material. I'll also solve assignments and share what I have solved. You can see already here that I've brought this book. Um, in which I will be documenting everything which I am learning which will serve as the resource and I have brought uh, pens of different colors so that I can highlight the different information as I learn the material. Uh, as I learn this material again I will share thoughts on what is actually useful in industry and what has become irrelevant. I will also share a lot of information on which subject contains open areas of research so that interested students can also start their research journey. I will carefully choose the material regarding what I am learning and I will show you how I am choosing this material. So students who are confused or stuck and they are not able to make this transition to ML. Maybe courses and offline videos are not inspiring enough. What might inspire you is if you see someone else learning ML from scratch and then you can follow the same journey. So there is no cost to these videos. There is no hidden charges. This is pure teaching and learning. So you can join me in this journey as I transition to ML. There might be a huge number of videos as I get started. Today is day one um, and every day I'll be posting what I'm learning. Before we get started, you should have a clear objective of why you are learning machine learning in the first place. Uh, in my experience, the biggest motivators are three things. First is if you want a job in this field and if you do not have the experience on the resume currently, that can be a great motivator to start doing machine learning. Second motivator is if you want to apply to grad school, but uh, you do not currently have machine learning projects. That's why you want to learn machine learning. And the third, motiva third motivator is you can see that the entire world around you is transitioning to ML and AI and you don't want to get left behind. 
uh, you are interested in this topic and you just want to learn about ml so that you can feel like you belong in this world which is transitioning so fast to ml and ai i was in a similar boat as all of you who are looking to make this transition because i was in mechanical engineering i had no clue what machine learning is i learned about it 4 to 5 years back and it has completely changed my life professionally and personally i hope that these set of videos which i am making will help you inspire you motivate you and guide you in your journey to transition to ml i'll be posting every single day on this youtube channel and in the comments i'll attach resources i'll attach the notes which i'm making in this book so that uh, you can follow along uh, thank you so much and i'll see you directly in the first lecture all right so let's get started with the first lecture video in this teach by doing ml project as you can see on the screen i have started uh, filling this diary or this notebook in which i'll be maintaining all the lecture notes as i start from scratch so today will be a start of a long and a fruitful journey so let's get started with our journey of understanding and learning machine learning first thing which i'm going to do is uh, enter guest mode since i don't want my past browsing history to influence the search results which i'm seeing when i search different things so let me start by saying that you have one of the three goals for transitioning to ml either you want a job or you want to apply to grad school you want to transition to ml or third thing you just want to learn about this field because you are curious about it since the entire world is moving in this direction great so the first thing which i will search as a beginner is ml for beginners okay so immediately i can see that a huge number of things have started showing up already and uh, i currently have no way to compare these things and i can also see that there are number of sponsored results which have started appearing so let me start going through what all searches have been there and let us try to narrow down the initial resource which we will begin learning from let's cancel or rule out some things which we definitely don't need let's look at this for example here is a data science online course um but looks like this is more geared towards placements and it also looks like this might be a paid program designed for early career professionals we probably don't want this right now because we want something which builds our foundation in terms of theory and practical knowledge in machine learning we kind of want a deep course which also gives us uh, a hands on experience so this looks like it's a pg program so we don't need this much level of specialization right now so let's cancel this there is another course here for data science which shows pay after placement and all these things freezer was seat for inr 5000 so this is also paid so let's not these programs right now it also looks like these programs might be uh, a bit fast so they might teach you quick projects they might teach you quick coding but they might not really develop a strong foundation in machine learning which is extremely crucial one of the main aims for me is to teach you this beginner journey but at the same time develop foundations develop very strong fundamentals and not just do quick projects so let me rule out this option as well right now uh okay then i have heard about coursera and i have heard about udemy so let me look at the projects in coursera and udemy so let me see ml for beginners coursera and here you can see top machine learning courses for beginners i can see that again there are a huge number of courses here and uh, this is again very overwhelming it's very difficult to choose what exactly to learn from here because all of them have good amount of ratings but i know that this this course is quite good it is taught by andrew ng it has a rating of 4.9 and it has 21k reviews so let me click on this and see the contents of this particular course i can see that free enrollment is possible which is good number 1 
Secondly, I'll see that in this project, we will learn to build ML models. Uh, we will learn and apply best practices for ML development. We will build and train a neural network. We will build recommender systems. So in terms of course modules, there seems to be three aspects. The first is supervised machine learning. Uh, and I currently do not know what this means. Secondly, we have advanced learning algorithms. And thirdly, we have unsupervised learning. Great. But it looks again that this course is more geared towards practical, aspe uh, the practical aspects. And uh, it's not very deep in the theory. That's why uh, let's keep this particular course on standby for now. Looks good overall. A large number of students have taken it. And it introduces me to ML concepts and it's also free. Now let me look at this uh, Udemy courses. So let me search ML for beginners Udemy. Okay, so here also I can see a huge number of courses and uh, all of them are priced reasonably uh, up to 400 to 500 rupees. Let me click on this bestseller and look at the course contents within this. I can see that master machine learning on Python and R, which means that there is a lot of emphasis on coding on this particular in this particular course, uh, which is confirmed as I go through the course content. Almost every single tutorial which is there or every single lecture which is there starts with uh, Python and importing the data set, splitting the data set. And this looks like this particular course is more geared towards coding and practical aspect. And again, it's not really directed towards the fundamentals of ML. Um, we really want to build a very strong foundation in ML and not want to do something quick here. So let me keep this also on the back burner. First thing which I need to show all of you students is that as you can see, there is a huge amount of material out there and it's quite difficult to select what to get started with. Okay, so let me keep this also in the back burner. But I saw that there is uh, one more uh, thing which popped up on my feed and uh, that was this Microsoft ML for beginners. So let me click on this particular link and uh, I can see here that this, this seems to be a good link because there are 65,000 stars on this repository. There are 13,000 forks, which means those many people have downloaded and used this repository for, for their own purpose. And Microsoft is a very reputable company. I have also heard a lot about this course. And it looks like, let's look at the syllabus of this course. So it looks like they have around uh, 25 lessons. And in terms of syllabus, it looks very similar to the uh, Coursera course because here also there was regression, classification and reinforcement learning and clustering. Similarly, here also they have regression, they have classification, they have clustering and then they move towards natural language processing, reinforcement learning. So this is the first understanding as a complete beginner. There seems to be a pattern among all these free courses. It seems that they are all teaching about regression. It seems that they are all teaching about classification and seems that they are all teaching about clustering. And finally, all of them teach about reinforcement learning and neural networks. So that seems to be the general trend in how all these different courses are structured. But again, let me see how deep the content is in this particular uh, course. So let me click on regression. I just want to get a sense of how deep different things are taught. Uh, so let me click on this particular video. So I can see that a short video and it's a three minute video. It looks like this is more like an overview, but not really the fundamentals of regression or not really the foundation of regression. So I make up my mind that this, this is a good course for going through the practical aspects. And it looks like a modern course, very nicely made course for uh, doing practical codes. Like for example, after the first lecture, uh, let me click on tools of the trade. And here I can see that uh, 
they talk about regression and not just that they tell me how i can install uh, and run my python code for regression so here i can see that they give me uh, different instructions to uh, run my first machine learning notebook and write code for regression that is very good that is one thing which i really want i want to get my hands dirty i want to do hands on project but i really really want to start with deep ml fundamentals um, from top universities so let's say if i am at mit or stanford i would have done a course which is taught there right can i get access to that particular course and it turns out that you can get access to that course it just that it's buried a bit deep within internet and it does not immediately show up when you search about machine learning all these sponsored results show up but the one course which is actually very very nice for fundamentals and foundation that does not show up so let me search mit 6.036 ml course by the way this is the course which i took at mit uh, and uh, it completely transformed my life it's a beautifully taught course and it will be wonderful if we can find the lecture notes and lecture material for this particular course actually this is brilliant since i can see that uh, there are uh, 12 13 weeks of content by the way this this is the same thing which i learned at mit and i i am i am very i am very happy with this because it's taught at mit so it must be state of the art and uh, i'm pretty sure since it's taught at mit it will teach right from foundations and it will not just teach something quick uh, so i get to exploring this content it looks like under every week there is a separate subsection like for example if i go to regression again and if i go to the regression topic i can see that uh, there are there are videos which are these and uh, there are lectures so the symbols such as these are the videos and then there are lecture notes i can already see that so actually let me click on one video the good thing about these videos is that they are taught by an mit professor this particular professor is very respected at mit so that is one plus point for this course i really want to learn from an mit professor i want to learn from a professor which is the number one in this field uh, and i can see that there are number of lectures on regression so not just one lecture and it seems that it is going deeper into mathematical foundations of regression as well so this is brilliant this is unlike any of these courses which seem to be a bit more practical oriented but this this seems to be the only course which is a bit more fundamental and i can see that regression itself has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 small lectures around 5 to 10 minutes and they have lecture notes interspersed so i like this i make up my mind that this will teach me the theory and i can take one of these other courses simultaneously for doing the practicals or the coding aspect let me actually look at the assignments for this particular course and let me see how it looks like so let us look at the regression assignments here uh okay so first it shows that regression assessment is only available to enrolled learners please sign in or register so let me create a free account here uh i have already uh, registered using my email address so you guys can register it's free completely uh in order to sign in you will need to activate your account so let me quickly go ahead and activate my account great so i have activated my account right now and i have registered completely for free now let me see whether i am i am receiving access to these assignments so i click on this exercise module of the regression and it's loading up right now as you can see and i take a look at the exercises and i can see that they look to be a more mathematical in nature and there also seem to be a lot of foundational questions about regression this is amazing i definitely want a fundamental and deep understanding of regression and uh, these assignments will be very good 
but i can see that uh, there are uh, assignments with respect to uh, theory fundamentals but there are not assignments with respect to practical hands on uh, problems uh, so that is the drawback of this particular course and to overcome this drawback i decide that i will do those hands on exercises from this microsoft course so this is also one area which i would like to highlight here there are two different types of ml courses which you will generally encounter uh there is one type of course like this which is very strongly focused on theory fundamentals and foundations and it also goes deeper into the mathematics the second type of course is something like the ones which you will find on coursera or udemy or this microsoft course those directly are oriented towards the practical aspects those teach you how to write your ml code how to take hands on how to take a hands on project and complete that project Uh, the approach which i very strongly suggest is supplementing strong fundamentals with these kind of practical courses i have seen so many students just quickly do these practical courses and add this on their resume but their foundations are not strong it's very weak if we ask them why does a linear regression work this way they have no clue and that's why they become weak machine learning engineers we want to become strong ml engineers so we will Uh, adopt a hybrid approach of doing the theory modules from this particular course and doing the hands on module from this microsoft course so let me close all the other tabs let me close this course era tab let me close the udemy tab and uh, finally uh, the decision which we have made in this introductory lecture is that we will be going through two course modules we will be going through this particular module as our main reference point this is the mit's course on machine learning uh, we will follow everything week wise and uh, what we will do is that we will be watching videos there is a video for every single concept which is taught by uh, ml professors at mit so we will be going through this video and then we will be solving assignments uh, at the end of this video and after lectures are done we will go to this microsoft course and we will see if there are any practical demonstrations i think practical demos will start once we reach regression so then we will complete the videos and assignments here and then we will do hands on projects using this microsoft course that is the approach which we are going to follow so what i'll be doing from uh, tomorrow is that uh, i'll be starting with the lectures here i'll be starting with the introductory lectures and i'll be making notes i'll also be going completely through the videos and i'll i'll tell in these videos which i make what are the videos which i went through what are the assignments which i did and if you are following with me and if you really have a desire to learn and master ml you can also go through these videos simultaneously so that we are in this learning journey together uh for this particular lecture i have already made notes in uh, in this notebook and here you can see the first page i have written that uh, when i googled ml for beginners these are the links which showed up which we don't need these are executive links many of them are paid and we don't need this right now we are looking for courses which have a good mix of fundamentals and theory and practical aspects uh, so especially four courses are good first is microsoft ml for beginners there is a coursera course there is a udemy course and there is a hidden gem which is mit 6.036 intro to ml so what we will be doing is that uh we will be following the mit 6.036 course syllabus we will be watching the videos we will be doing the assignments and i will supplement video lectures with hands on projects from the microsoft ml for beginners course so wherever we feel that there is a need to do a real world hands on project we will take reference from this microsoft course so the action plan is watch video lectures take notes submit assignments and then the general vision is have a good mix of technical depth plus practical projects
so currently i don't know how much time all of this will take but i will try to go at a pace which you also can follow and uh, you will hopefully go through this journey with me and learn and master rebel please do not stop half way in this journey because uh, it's very difficult to pick up again the advantage of following with me like this is that you can hold yourself accountable so whenever a new whenever i make a new video i will ask who has finished the previous uh, lecture or what we discussed at the end of the previous lecture and then that will be a good accountability for you to comment that you have finished this particular uh, lecture or you have finished this particular video and you, you, we are ready to move forward right now whoever is following this uh, please make sure that you go through this ml for beginners microsoft course and this mit course you can create an account here and be ready for the next lecture in the youtube description i'll be sharing the links to both these courses and i'll also be sharing the drive link where i will host my notes uh, okay everyone that's it for this lecture uh, hopefully this is the beginning of a great journey of learning ml together uh, thank you so much and please post any doubts or questions which you have in the comment section i'll be sure to go through it in the next video thank you